Hello everyone, and in today's video we're going to be exploring a tool that will transform how we organize, interact with information, and how we can extract amazing findings from a number of sources. And this is with Google's Notebook LM, and you will see how it will make working with your documents and sources so much faster, smarter, and more efficient. So let's get started. So in order to get started, you need to search for Notebook LM in Google, or you can just go to notebooklm.google, and then you just need to click on Try Notebook LM. Once you've signed in, the first thing that we need to do is to create our first notebook. And once you do that, you can see that it asks us here to upload our sources. So we can upload from Google Drive, we can upload uh, from a website or a YouTube video if we wanted to, or we can paste in our text. So let's just start off with uploading um, a document. So I'm just going to add here my machine learning book. And you can see that it's now been uploaded. The other thing we can do is we can also upload YouTube videos. So if I click here on YouTube, so I can just click on the YouTube video that I want. I can copy the link. I can go back to my notebook and then I can paste in that link. And then you'll see that it will start to upload that video. And now it's got the details of that video as well. You can do the exact same thing with a web page as well. So if we copy that web page link and then go to the plus sign again, and this time I'm going to say upload a website. Okay, and I've pasted that in. And now we've uploaded three different kinds of sources. So we've got our video, we've got our PDF, and we've got our web source. And then it tells you how many documents that you can upload. So I've got here three out of 50 different types of documents that I can upload to a single notebook. Now, I want to take you back to um, a notebook that I've already created. And you'll see here that I've got 30 different sources uploaded, and I can still upload more sources. But what I want to show you here is if I go to Notebook Guide, you will see that it's now created a summary of all the sources that I've got. So it's a very short summary, but it tells me what the main topics that are being discussed here. And then it suggests different questions that I can ask. Now, the amazing thing is that now, with all these sources uploaded, I can now start to synthesize and organize the information and I can add prompts here in this chat area where I can ask questions that collect information from all these different sources. And that's what we're going to be doing right now. Okay, so for my first prompt, I'm going to just add here, identify the top five recurring themes across all the sources and provide a brief summary of each theme. Okay. And what you'll see is now it's examining all 30 sources that I have uploaded and now will create that top level summary for me. Okay, and we can see that it's come back with the top five themes. So it's talking about ethical considerations, explainable AI, and so on. And what's really amazing about this is that it's actually given me indications of where it's taken that information from, from my sources. So if I click on number three here, it tells me which source is actually taken from, and then it actually highlights the exact section it's taken that information from. So I can know whether that summary has been built on accurate information or not. And it does that with every single piece of information that it adds into the summary. So I can see now I've got a synthesized summary of 30 sources here in my chat. So if I think that this information is relevant and I want to keep that information to build on it, then what I can do is come here where it says save to note, and then you'll see it creates a note with that summary. And then I can actually change the name of that note and just call it key insights. And now I have that saved and it tells me that it's used 10 citations to come up with that response. And what we can do is then we can go back and we can continue to chat with these sources. And I can add another question here, um, evaluate the practical implications of the collective research findings. How might these results be applied in real world settings? Okay, and again, you can see that it's come back with the practical implications of AI in healthcare. Again, the different implications all the sources that it has used and it's accurately numbered them so I know exactly where it is and again I can click on them like we said you can always save it to notes and then I've now got two different notes from my chat you can also choose the option to ask one of the suggested questions so what types of data I used to train AI models in healthcare and then you can just get the relevant answers for that so that's one thing that you can do with notebook LM you can use the chat feature and that will give you some amazing insights now the other thing we can do is that if we go down here to the notebook guide you can see that there are a number of options that they can actually help you create. So here, this is a really good feature as well, the frequently asked questions. And if you use that, what it will do is it will combine all these sources 
And you can see here that it's created the frequently asked questions. This is really useful if you want to create a document or a guide to help you look at the main questions in your sources. And the other option it can do as well, if we go back to notebook guide, you can actually create a study guide of the full 30 documents that you have. And you can see it's come back with a very quick a study guide with a number of questions and also the answer key to these questions. So the other thing I want to show you is that you can actually choose to chat with one specific document. So for example, if I click on this one, then I can focus on just this article and then I can start reviewing this document and just chatting with that one source. So I can just say here, summarize this article and provide me with the key insights. And what it will do is that it will base its response just off this article, which helps me become more organized. You can see that it's now come back with the summary and key insight of just this article. And then I can just save this to a note as well. And then what I can do is I can create a small summary for each different article, and then I can combine them in different ways. And one of my favorite things to do with Notebook LM is to create that briefing doc. You'll notice that I've reselected all the sources again, and I'll create a briefing doc. And what you'll see is that again, it summarizes the main themes and key findings from all the sources and adds all the different points that are relevant and then gives you one page document that you can quickly refer to. And you can actually go in and write your own notes um, as you collect and as you read the information and not only will it give you that briefing doc as well with all the information, but you can actually create an audio overview of all the information that's in your materials in the full conversation. So what I found with Notebook LM is that it's an efficient way to handle these large amounts of information. To be able to analyze and to synthesize information from up to 50 sources is actually really powerful. Do give this uh, tool a try. It will definitely streamline the way that you synthesize information, extract information from a variety your sources. I hope you found this video useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.